Hello, this is Andrew from DPS again and welcome back. Today I want to address something pretty fundamental for networks, but it's actually has a fair amount of complexity when you get down to it. There's a couple ways you can attack this. And the question is, how do I ping a network element to make sure that it's still online? So let's start, draw ourselves a little network element, we'll just call it NE. This could be just about anything. Really common would be a managed switch. Any piece of equipment that's able to talk on the network and is equipped to respond to ICMP pings. Anything that you might say, hey, you still there? Yes, I'm still there. Ping pong, all that. That's what we're talking about. Obviously, people know that. And when you think about that, you probably think, well, pinging is so simple because you think in terms of, I'm on my PC here and I'm going to go out over the network, send a ping. To this element and then have it respond back and then I know it's there. I think we're used to that. We're used to sending pings and have them come back. But in a larger network, in a big enterprise, maybe you work at a telecom company of some kind, some kind of a radio agency at the county level, whatever that is, there are ways to do this quite a bit smarter. So one way is just to talk about automating it. If you were to have a central master station as part of your remote monitoring system. The better ones are going to have an ability to collect a list of equipment and then send pings to devices on a regular basis. So we're going to do the same basic thing from a central location, much like the PC in our office. But what we're doing is we're going to ping on a regular basis, maybe every five minutes, could be every one minute, whatever we want to do. You have to balance the traffic, but pings are pretty small and easy to deal with. So that's going to happen, and then maybe if it doesn't respond to three consecutive pings, you generate an alarm and say, hey, that network element is having trouble. So that's a great way to automate it, because you're not going to sit at your desk all day and be responding or requesting pings from devices and then seeing if they come back. It's just never going to happen. That's not a job for a person. That's a job for software. So a master station might have a big long list of things, and you could ping them all on a regular basis and then program the logic to say, well, what happens if they don't respond? But I also want to emphasize one final thing you can do that's even more advanced. Because your network has other devices at other levels. And as part of your monitoring system, one thing that the master is responsible for is an RTU, a remote telemetry unit, out at each site. And the advantage, potentially, of pings is you may not need your master to send pings. Maybe you want to know within this site, within this subsection of the network. So we can send a relatively direct ping, it's still going over the over the LAN, I'll still draw a little cloud in here. But we can just ping across this and look for our responses to come back. So the RTU can handle that independently, and this can just be a different way. It reduces the load on your master, it gives you a different insight. Oftentimes, like on NetGuardian RTUs, we have an ability to use the TTY interface to go from our PC, get into the RTU, and then do a manual ping from that position. So all of these give you a better diagnostic ability, whether it's automation of the ping, so you don't have to do it on your PC, or you're down at the RTU level and from the site you can actually ping a device and not have to worry about some of the complexities of the network. So all these are tools in your toolkit when you think about how do I ping a network element and I encourage you to use them as they're appropriate. So I really hope you found this video helpful. Please, if you did, like and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. And until next time, I wish you excellent network reliability.